Hi, buddy. Hola, vaca, amigos. Hola, be grande vaca. Holy sh**. No thanks. Oh, what are we doing? Is this real life? Nothing like making a grand entrance. A puffer fish? Thanks, man. So I just had some bomb ice cream with Eddie. Santa Rosalia, that's where we are. Because you can see at the sign that is currently backwards. Good morning. I can honestly say this is the first time in my life I've ever seen the sun come up over the ocean. Now it's cheating because it's the Sea of Cortez and you can see right across there. That must be an island because I can't see all the way across over here. Unique experience for sure. It is gorgeous here. The hotel's pretty cute. Unique spot. That's my room with the open door. What a day yesterday. Today is apparently mostly pavement riding. Some amazing twisties. We're going right up the coast of the Sea of Cortez. So it's just ocean views for days. Literally this whole day. So it's going to be awesome. I'm excited. Day three in Baja. Also, there's a cat here. There's two of them now. There's only one before. This is the cleanup crew. El Gato taking care of the grill. Are we friendly, Gato? Are we friendly? Hola, Gato. Hola. Oh, this is the one I met last night. This is the community cat with no name, I asked. Hi, buddy. I don't know, they keep on doing that. They got another one as well. All right, so we're here in Loretto. We're going to just hop on the highway here. Um, so the, and we'll stay on the uh, on the highway, and these are this is great, fun, open, the twisty roads. And then we're going to come up on Bahia Concepcion, which is, like I told you yesterday, is the most beautiful bay in all of Baja. And the highway, as you can see, is like right on the edge of it. And the water's just insanely clear and turquoise. And it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there's an opportunity to, to come in around the bay. This is, you can see it's a, a dirt road. And we'll just come around the edge and you can just ride on a, uh, right along the water. And it's epic. It's like epic Baja bay riding super great canyon twisty roads up through this canyon and then over to san ignacio where we'll stay <gasps> ludicrous speed so we've never gone that fast before ludicrous speed go well okay this is where we leave the road Interesting. Muy interesante. Muy interesante, amigos. All right, here we go. We're going to ride the dirt road out to Bahia de Concepcion. Uh, right along the shoreline. Supposedly it's sandy as So let's see how many times I crash. Oh, fun. This is the good We got ourselves some vacas. Hola vacas. Hola vaca amigos. Hola be grande vaca. Holy sh**. No thanks. Okay, he ran away. <laughs> Maybe he was going in the road. Things were about to get real interesting. Oh, Tyler's just encouraging our cow friend to move along. Hello cow friend. This is literally a riverbed. Like, oh, well, this is river rock. This is actually a fun road. I'm enjoying it. Tanneray is such a good bike for this stuff. It just eats it up. It's like, where do you want to go, man? Can we go faster? Over there, up that, around that, over that. Cool. Whoa! <laughs> What's up, Cactus? He's reaching out trying to high-five me. Not into that. There's the bay! Sweet, dude. <laughs> yeah, the bay is up here on the left. You can see it. Occasional glimpses through the vegetation. This is a fun sort of. It's interesting. Ow! Mix of terrains like technical, rocky, super rocky, then kind of gravelly flat like this, and then a big sand section, and then you go down into a stream bed, and it's all river rock. So good, uh, good place to practice a variety of skills. And uh, 
it's fun. It's a fun one. It's like, like I said, challenging, but not difficult or scary. There's another stream bed. See what I mean? Right into sand, into very loose sh uh, gravel sand, fine sand, back up onto the gravel. Okay, well, here's actual like beach sand now. Wonderful. I'm really glad I'm down here both in Mexico and on this road at this moment in time of my life. What the hell is this? White sand? Yep. And then gray sand? And then white sand? White sand beaches? It's better be the coolest damn place I've ever ridden a motorcycle. Oh my god, it's right there! It's right there! Wow. Holy my God. What are we doing? Is this real life? Is this my life right now? Oh my God. Oh my God. So cool. What a way to live, man. Nothing like making a grand entrance. There you go. Now we're all even, dude. He wants to press. It's all about presentation. Tyler's got it. Bienvenidos a Bahia de Concepcion. Oh, I smell gas. Eduardo, you missed your turn, buddy. Oh. A puffer fish? Thanks, man. A little puffer fish. Sea turtle. Dead sea turtle. I told you we were going to be heroes in a half shell. Damn, well. Aren't we in the preserve? No? Goodbye, Bahia. Bahia. We'll see it on the other side, too. Not a good line. Not a good line. Is there a good line? I don't know. We don't need to be in fifth. I'm not a doctor of motorcycling, but it feels like a good call. Oh, we're going in the sand. No, it's cobblestones. Wow. Neat. Check out this group rolling in. GS, 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 GS. That's a s XR, GS. Big, and look at all this damn luggage. These guys are living off these things. I'm gonna go ahead and guess they're not doing a lot of off-road with the XR in the group. So this is Playa Santistas, I think. Santistas. And uh, we're gonna get some supposedly world-class bomb fish tacos, dude. Bomb fish tacos. Armando Bar. Dude, I gotta get my sticker. Fish tacos. Tyler said the fish tacos are bomb. It's grilled. Sometimes even a broom needs to be swept. Fish taco. Mm. Those tacos on the beach on the first day were pretty legit. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, this thing to leave. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 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 
Ooh, salsa meat. habanero. Mm -hmm. I like this guy. Yeah. Fresh fish tacos on the beach. Tyler was right. These are fabulous. Delicious, authentic, fresh fish tacos. Best fish tacos I've ever had. I don't eat fish tacos often, but I would be shocked if I ever had fish tacos again and they were that good. So we are on the road to San Ignacio. Apparently it's all pavement and we have a ways to go. We're gonna be pushing to get there for dinner. So we're gonna head out. So enjoy the ride. I know I will. Oh my god, that smells amazing. Oh my god. It's like churros or something. So supposedly the story with this mission is it was built for the by the same guy that built the Eiffel Tower and uh, for the same World's Fair. It's made of metal. It was built to be disassembled and transported, and that's what they did. And so now it's here. Beautiful. We got some friends here. Some friends. Oh, we got a Tiger 900. What's that Ducati? So I just had some bomb ice cream with Eddie. I'll put a picture in because I forgot to film it, but I accidentally got a giant cup full, sort of on purpose. We're headed towards San Ignacio. We got about another hour. Oh, cool. We're driving by the ice cream place. This is the ice cream place where I had ice cream right there. Thrifty. It was good. So anyway, an hour to San Ignacio. Once again, we're pushing sunset, but I think we'll make it. I don't think it's going to get dark till 630. Santa Rosalia. That's where we are because you can see at the sign that it's currently backwards. Hotel Desert Inn, San Ignacio. We made it just before the sun went down. Got some palm trees and sunsets. And Eddie, we got an Eddie. Excellent! You're so cute. <laughs> oh my God. We're supposed to be over here. 